Usually when the streets are closed off to make a track, it's full of race cars going around at full throttle. That is not the case at the Shell Eco Marathon. This is a competition where students, mostly from universities, work to build the most fuel efficient vehicle possible using a variety of different fuel types, including gasoline, diesel, natural gas, battery electric, and hydrogen fuel cell. There are two classes, the ultra-low kayak-shaped prototypes and the more car-liked urban concept cars. This year, there were 128 teams present from seven different countries. Of those 128 teams, 18 are from Canada. The University of Toronto fielded two cars, a gasoline prototype and a battery electric prototype. So my name is Menchi. I'm from the University of Toronto Super Mileage team. I'm currently acting as the team manager for the battery electric prototype. This is our first year out with a battery electric. So our main goal right now is to have it complete a successful run. Um, it's mostly about learning what's required to kind of successfully run the battery electric because um, we've never done it before, we're not really sure what the protocols around it are, what the new challenges are when we're facing a new technology, so this year's more about working out those little details and kinks before we can ultimately aim to achieve something higher and more competitive. I like the idea of exploring the battery electric technology. There's no uh, emitted byproducts when it comes to running a battery electric car. Um, and also because uh, there's a lot more tunability when it comes to an electrical system than you get with the internal combustion. The University of Alberta arrived to compete with their hydrogen fuel cell urban concept car. So urban concept means that it has to look like a real car, like it has to have a windshield wiper and side view mirrors and turning lights. So essentially hydrogen then combines with oxygen and uh, it's a redox reaction, so it creates electricity. We use that to power an electric motor, which then goes to the drivetrain and then turns the wheels. On a hydrogen fuel cell, you can go for a lot longer distance than for a battery electric. So that's one of the biggest advantages for this fuel type. I mean, you get to build a car, but also it's something that you can see in the future and you can see might actually have an impact on future societies and the way that we're moving is something that kind of caught my interest and is why I joined the team. The event is a place where students get a chance to solve real world engineering problems and get acquainted with future employers face to face. Earlier this week we had a lot of the students come out to our facilities in Auburn Hills, our headquarters. We gave them a tour of some of the engineering labs. We always look for uh, the best and brightest talent to add to the team. You know, the, the world's changing, cars are changing, and uh, it's these students that are going to help drive that change into the future.